Hey guys, welcome back to EDSR FMH Tutorials. Make sure you get yourself subscribed to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash EDSR Tuts. Starting a new feature this month, we're going to be looking at the arpeggiator in FM8 and the various different functions of the arpeggiator and just how we can use it to create our own kind of arpeggiator sequences. Um, we're going to be going through all of these features here in the mode, global, tempo, expression and of course the pattern editor as well. So I'm going to kick off with some basic arpeggiator stuff today and just show you some cool tricks for just creating some nice arpeggiated sound. So kick off with a new sound in FM8 and this is the default state of the arpeggiator here so at the moment it's not even on so we can switch it on here in this global section and we've got this arpeggiator running so a cool feature here in this global section of the arpeggiator is all the presets that we have here so if we loaded up something a bit more interesting than just a plain sine wave something like that and then we can load in to this sound some of these arpeggiator presets so which is pretty cool and um, let's reload that patch again another thing we can do in here is save our arpeggiator presets so unlike the envelopes in FM8 where you have your envelope presets you don't actually get any options or any space to save your own in the arpeggiator they actually give us some user space so we can start saving some of our own arpeggiator presets which is pretty nice to go right okay let's set up so we like that preset I can just rename it in here nice arp and then save it in one of our user spots and we see it in there and we can call that up on another sound a different synth lead and if you want to bring in that nice ARP and make this synth lead an arpeggiated kind of sound you can do that in there so that's pretty cool using the presets we're going to be kind of looking at that a little bit more some of the later videos um, let's go back and create another new sound here so we've got the on button there got copy and paste which work in a similar way as the kind of like loading in the arpeggiator like loading in the presets if you have this nice arp here copy this go to a different sound paste it we can just paste, copy and paste arpeggiator settings and it would just copy and paste everything from this page onto a different sound. So over here in the mode section we've got a couple of different things. Um, we've got in here we've got one shot. If we set up another arp sequence in here and let's do something like this. one shot it will just play through the arpeggiator sequence once and then finish so and then we've got key sync here as well as you can see the arpeggiator has got its own clock and it's constantly running so when I'm hitting keys it just keeps running over these eight steps with key sync pressed keep starting from the start again and notice something with Logic Pro X that it seems to start from step 2 which is quite irritating it doesn't do that in Logic 9 so I think that might be kind of a 64-bit thing maybe or something that they need to get sorted out really but 
but it should start from step one with the key sync activated. You've got tempo sync in here, so it's going to sync to the host tempo, so 120 BPM we've got at the moment. You can take it off. You can have the tempo of your arpeggiator independent from that of the kind of host or the door that you're running it in, but I tend to always have it tempo synced. And then we've got these repeat modes in here that we're going to look at in a second. By default it's on wrap, and that's the one you're going to use most probably. It's the most obvious and kind of like intuitive one to use, and it's the default state. So, And these basically refer to the kind of order of the arpeggiator. So. And I think the best way to get your head around these kind of repeat modes is to just listen to them in action. So I'll come back to that in a second. And what we've got over here is hold. So if I have the hold button highlighted or activated, if I just hit a note, and I've let go of the note, and it's just going to keep playing that arpeggiator sequence, which is quite cool for just if you want to get an arp, an arp sequence down, and you just hit hold, and then you can start tweaking everything else. So with this held down, just going to play until we hold down another note. Another cool thing we can do with the hold button is with it highlighted we can start layering up or making like a chord stacked up sort of thing so I hold down C3 and with the C3 still pressed in C4 Now I'm going to hold down C2, and let go of all three, and it's still going to play that sort of stacked up sequence. So let's go and thicken up this ARP sound a little bit now. Monophonic, two voices. Take the detune off, add a bit of pan, a bit of digital. Portamento, turn that on. Turn the auto off so we're going to get some nice glide, but take it right down to about 9. Let's go to the up section now and just make the sound a bit nicer. You can see I've just got this arpeggiator sequence playing and I can just start tweaking my sound. So go for a soft square, key sync it, take the ratio down to 0.25. Self. Key sync operator E. And let's actually route this through a filter. So root F into Z, root Z to the output. Let's actually go back to the arpeggiator here. Note length. Push that up to 100. We've got quite a nice arp that we can play around with, automate that. Make it really acidy. And let's go back to this arpeggiator here. And we've got this down button here. So hit that. And it kind of changes the sequence a little bit. And it's sort of referring to, or depending on the, 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 the order in which you press the keys down initially to create that arpeggiator sequence, the order that it 
it's going to play back. So. And then we can go back to this repeat mode here. Maybe just bring the filter out a little bit. So we've got ping. Pong. Rap plus. Rap minus. Some of these are quite self-explanatory, so rap plus and rap minus, rap plus kind of takes the sound up in octaves, rap minus does the reverse, takes the sound down in octaves. Got last, holds on the last note, first holds on the first note, random, self-explanatory again, just random kind of notes playing back in this sequence, pause. It's going to play those three notes that we had in there and then pause. Go back to rap. And yeah, with, with that held, with that whole button activated and your sequence playing, you can just have a lot of fun just playing around with the filter and the sound and stuff. Okay, so that's it for this first tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that. Any questions, please get in touch. Make sure you come back and check us out for part two. We're going to be looking at the tempo and expression boxes here in the arpeggiator and delving a bit more into this pattern editor down here. So yeah, make sure you get yourself over to our website as well, fmatutorials.com. Tons more tutorials on FMA on there. And yeah, thanks for watching. All right, cheers. Bye.